Hello friends. Welcome to maybe a little closer. Welcome to Weekends with Jamie. Last weekend, it, I just did boring things, to be honest, um, and it wasn't really worth the footage. Or And then I tried filming the week before, but it kind of ended up being like very long. But the funny part, which I'm gonna try and film, is that I filmed myself watching the Formula One race, and it, I had some pretty funny reactions. So I think I'm gonna do like a vlog slash backseat driver thing this weekend. I don't wanna steal that title because there's another channel that does that. But anyway, I have some fun stuff happening this weekend. I had to close my window because the building across from me, there was a bird, like actually just like chilling out on one, on someone's windowsill and birds never go on these windowsills because they're pretty small. Anyway, it's really nice out. I do have to go to the bank at some point. I started using Rakuten for some online shopping after my friend Krista recommended them and I ended up just getting a check in the mail for like $11 and something cents because I earned, earned some cash back from some of the places I shopped. I think I got cash back from Target. I think I also, who else did I get? Oh, I got cash back um, from my, getting my coffee maker. Um, Bed Bath & Beyond, I got cash back on that. So, and then I use a cashback credit card too. But yeah, I got a little check, so I wanna cash that because I could use money. Um, anyway, yeah, I am seeing my friends tomorrow. I'm so excited. I'm actually gonna take the ferry down to Pier 11 on Wall Street and walk up to Malibu Farm, which is just on Pier 17. So it's like, I think it's like a not even 10 minute walk. So I'm really excited to do that. And then I'm gonna go to Jackson McNally, which has a beautiful store down there. Hold on, I need to like, there we go. Which has a beautiful store down there. Um, so that's exciting. I have my hair in a French braid today. I did Krista's workout this morning. Um, she's switching up her class schedule and then I'm supposed to talk to her later at seven which I almost forgot about, it wasn't, I was, she's like, yeah, we'll talk later. And I was like, oh my God, that's right. Yeah, no, I put it in my calendar. I just completely forgot. Work has been nuts, to be honest. Um, really, really nuts. We have a lot of things going on. Yeah, so I'm hoping to get work done a little bit earlier today, because it's Friday. Um, I'll probably go out and take a walk at some point. I'm just excited to go to Malibu Farm because I haven't been downtown in over a year at this point. I want to go to Soho because I want to get myself a new pair of Allbirds for my birthday. My birthday is now officially a little less than a month away. And I wanted to try them on. I need to get back to work. Free practice is going to be on in two minutes. This weekend is the Portuguese Grand Prix. They're at Portimao, which is a really fun track because it goes up and down and all around, as uh, Carlos and Lando would say, side to side, like a roller coaster. No? Anyway, I'm, I'm still getting used to Daniel and, and Lando as, as a duo. They're not, they're, it's not the same energy as Carlos and Lando, but it's very funny because if you watch like behind the scenes videos, people are like, oh, Carlos and Lando, they're like two exes that just can't get over each other, which is very true. Very, very true. But I do like the energy between Carlos and Charles. I think they have a good, I think they have a good thing going on. C squared, I think Ferrari's calling them. But anyway, I guess I can open my window back up. The birdie went away. That was so weird. No, 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 no. I also had to update my Apple Watch so that the and once I updated it, like the face that I usually use is gone now, which I wasn't really happy about, but I have two now. So I have one that tells me like what time it is in California, which is good for work. And then I have one that tells me how many calories and move and stuff I've done, which is fine. So alrighty, let's, let's get back to work. Good morning. It is currently Saturday. I apologize, I didn't really end the vlog yesterday. All I did was I had a ton of work I needed to finish. And then I had a call with Krista, my best friend, and who we have a podcast, who I have a podcast with, I'll link it below. And uh, we talked for like almost two hours and then I had, and then I called my parents and whatnot. It's currently 9.12, it is Saturday, so at 10 o'clock I have 
my WW meeting virtually, which I'm gonna get on, and then um, I right after that's done, I need to leave and go to the ferry to go downtown. I'm gonna take the ferry because I've been avoiding public transit right now until I'm like fully vaccinated. I need to at some point also go to Trader Joe's, which don't know when I'm gonna get there. I need to go either like, yeah, I just don't know when I'm gonna get there. I need to go there either later today, which is probably a bad idea, or I need to go tomorrow morning, which is also probably a bad idea. But I can't go tomorrow morning because the race is on at 10. I'm probably gonna have to go Monday morning. I try and go to Trader Joe's before I start my work day, but the problem is that they do senior hour and I went on a Wednesday to my local Trader Joe's and it was senior hour and I had to go on a walk for 45 minutes because they wouldn't let me in. I was telling this to one of my friends who works for Trader Joe's and she was like, really? They won't even let you in? I was like, no. She's like, that's really strange. She's like, usually even though it's senior hour, if, if there's not a lot of people in the store, they let other people in. I was like, no, they wouldn't even let me in. They told me to come back at like 8.50 and I was there at 8.15, which was really annoying. But I also might just go to Whole Foods because, I don't know, I'm also thinking about ordering one of those grocery carts. I had one when I was in college and it's at my parents' house and currently I just have like a Weight Watchers um, insulated bag, which is fine, but it does get a little heavy if I buy a lot of stuff and it's not the easiest, like it's not fun to walk with all that stuff. So I'm just wondering if I should get like one of the rolling cards. I have no idea what to wear today. So I have my queen shirt on, but I have sweatpants on, but I'm gonna change into uh, jeans in a sec. But it's like, it says it's like 47 degrees up, but it feels like it's 40. But then it's supposed to get up to like 67 today and we're gonna be eating by the water. By the way guys, one of the best things about Malibu Farm is that everything is, it's, it's literally farm to table. They have their own actual farm in Malibu, but everything is super fresh. Um, it's like, it's literally, like it literally tastes like they picked it from the ground, cooked it and served it to you. It is, everything there is just incredible. Um, that was one of the reasons why I was looking forward to moving to LA because I, my mom's friend, one of her favorite things to do is she will drive to Malibu very early in the morning and she says she loves to go to Malibu farm and have breakfast by herself and she, it's very relaxing and yeah, and the friends that I'm seeing, we went to California for, last time I went to LA was with them and I was like, guys, we have to go to Malibu farm. We did the Malibu wine hike, which was really fun and guys, don't do the safari, do the hike. It's so much more fun and it's half the price and you still get wine in the end and then um we went to malibu farm like for lunch and then we went to the getty that's in malibu which was fun but uh yeah and they were like wow this is this is great like it was so cool you're we sitting there it was like three o'clock we're sitting there having like a late lunch my friend was drinking some rosé like it was so good um and then when they finally opened here in new york my friends were like hallelujah yes um, but anyway, these are my brunch, my brunch friends. I'm debating if I want to change my bag. I have my Longchamp bag, but I think I might change into the Stella McCartney bag only because I have a lot of stuff with me actually. Um, I have a lot of things in that bag and it's a little bit heavy and I feel like it might be easier if I just take the Stella McCartney bag. And the Stella McCartney bag would also go better with my outfit. And I try and wear like nicer stuff when I go to Soho because like I want people to think I'm rich, but I'm not. So I'll wear either like my Stella McCartney or my Givenchy bag, but I also just haven't been walking around with like a designer bag lately because, I don't know, I just felt like uncomfortable in the city kind of doing that, but I might do that just because that launch bag is like super heavy right now. Ugh, okay. Anyway, oh, and also, okay, what do you think about my hair? So I had my hair, I washed it yesterday morning and then I put it in a French braid yesterday and I kind of like how it dried. It's very like, wavy and, and whatnot. I left it in like just about all day. I think it looks kind of fun. I was just gonna put, I wanna show you guys this. This is one of my favorite hair products. It's the Shea Moisture Silicone Free Miracle Leave-In Treatment. You can use this on your hair when it's wet or dry. It kind of like shoots out. It doesn't like, it's not like a spray. This literally like shoots out conditioner. And it is such a good product i put this in my hair when it's wet and i also put it in my hair when it's dry for a frizz and it smells really good too but this is really great and you can find this at the drugstore i i really 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 
really like this treatment. I've also used it in my hair, like I'll re-wet my hair and then like put a little bit of this in. I did buy a curl cream recently because I was trying to wear my hair like more naturally curly since it's really long now. My curls are a lot easier to manage. When my hair's shorter, my hair is like super, super, super curly, but now my hair, my, my curls are a little stretched. Um, so it's a little bit more of a wave than a curl. But anyway, this stuff is really good. So I'm going to, oh, and, and Formula One qualifying is on at 10. So I'm going to have that in the background. Okay, I think I might change my handbag. I think I'm going to, I'm thinking I'm going to see if I can fit what I need in that bag versus this. And then I'm going to vlog on my phone for you guys. Okay, this is the final outfit. I changed into a like light cropped sweatshirt. This is also from... Nordstrom, this is the bomber jacket I was talking about. These are black American Eagle skinny jeans. I think they're jeggings. I have my Adidas. And yeah, let's go. That's a really great way too to see the city. It's 275 for a ferry ride and you get some really great views. So now I'm downtown. I'm just walking up to Pier 17 and I'm gonna meet my friends at Malibu Farm. Guys, is this not the pretty, like how pretty is this? So lovely. This is why I love Malibu Farm. Oh yes. Currently walking through Soho, haven't been here in over a year, and of course someone is taking photos of themselves. Influencers all out in the wild here. Brunch was amazing, and now I'm gonna walk it off and it's beautiful out. I'm gonna go to Aldridge. I think I might walk home if I have the energy to do it. Let's see. Got my Aldridge shoes. I got my sunglasses on, it's so sunny, and I took my jacket off. And I got my Alberts, and I'm very excited. I'm very happy and yeah so i'll probably try them out tomorrow so yeah i'm gonna try and walk back home i am back that was the first time in a long time i've had a very normal day i got some groceries so i'll show you what i got I, i'm trying these i heard about these in weight watchers these tomorrow low point um tortilla wraps they're not gluten-free but the gluten-free ones that I've been buying still have like wheat and stuff in it. So I don't really understand how they're gluten-free, but I'm going to try these for my quesadillas. I definitely need to go to Trader Joe's because they didn't have a low-fat version of the cheese that I get at the regular grocery store. I also got some turkey breast. I made sure it was not the smoked one. I accidentally bought the smoked one once. Some st stoke. Is it stoke or stock? I've tried... The one with the blue label, but this one is their lighter roast, so I'm gonna try it this morning. Like, I really don't want to make coffee, but I still wanted coffee, and um, I just thought it'd be fun. I hope this fits in my fridge. I might have to do some moving around, but I thought it'd be fun to try. And then I got what has been my favorite non-dairy ice cream, and that is the Ben & Jerry's uh, Caramel Sutra Core. This stuff is so freaking good. High in points, but for a non-dairy ice cream, this is it. It is so good. I also got my Allbirds, which I'll show you guys in a sec. I'm gonna sit down, kind of recap you my day, and then I desperately need a shower. I'm so sweaty and disgusting. Okay, I showered. I showered and forgot I had my mascara on, so I came out and I had raccoon eyes. But anyway, um, I don't know if I should also turn this into a, a what I spend in a day or what I spend in a day video. I don't know. But anyway, let's quickly recap. So I took the ferry, which was really great. Uh, such a fantastic mode of transportation that I've only taken once before. And it's the same price as a subway, met, as a subway ride. You just download the app on your phone or you can buy tickets when you get to the booth. But it was really easy. I took one of the lines that had only made one stop prior in Brooklyn and then it went back across to Manhattan and stopped at Wall Street and then I just walked up the five minute walk to um, 
to Malibu Farm. And yeah, Malibu Farm was delicious. So good. I got the fried egg sandwich. It was great. I probably should have gotten the organic scramble, but I was like, oh, I haven't had the sandwich in a while. The last few times I've been to Malibu Farm, I've gotten the egg scramble and I was like, I want this sandwich. I planned for it. It's like my one big meal today. So I got that, uh, which was great. And I got some cold brew, which was fantastic. And then I ended up walking up to Soho. I was trying to find some Mother's Day gifts for my mom. So I stopped at McNally Jackson, the one at the seaport. And then I stopped at one of their stores that's in Soho, the one where they sell notebooks. Uh, but they didn't really have anything that caught my eye. And then their pen store was closed. So I couldn't go in there. But anyway, I didn't really find anything. I did get my Allbirds though. Let me show you. So I got the exact ones that I wanted, which I'm so excited about. These are the, I think these are the skippers. These are the ones that are made from trees. They're not the all wool ones and they lace up. They're, um, yeah, they're technically boat shoes they call them. And I am a size six in the old pair that I have and I tried a six and it was too big so I was able to get a five and they're so lightweight they're perfect I don't wear mine with socks so funny enough the six worked well but I had really thick socks on and I tried them on without socks and I was like yes this is it anyway yeah so then I was like you know what it's such a beautiful day I'm gonna walk I did make a good outfit choice by switching from the short sleeve shirt to the long sleeve shirt because it was really chilly where we were eating but then I got really warm as I started walking home so I just threw my jacket in my backpack I have a little backpack thing um, which I love it's uh, I'll link it below it's a foldable tote that converts into a backpack and it's so good for food shopping and other shopping and things which reminds me tomorrow I need to go to Nordstrom Rack to return something so uh, anyway I, what else happened? What else did I do? Yeah, I, I had to wait online to get into the store. Every store in Soho had a line to get in. And honestly, I truly forgot that everyone down there dresses like they're influencers, which I was just like, oh man. Also, I made a good call on changing my handbags because the Stella McCartney worked a lot better than my Longchamp taupe would have. So that was a good call on my part. I'm drinking water because I was starting to not feel great. I also think I may have a magnesium deficiency. I, based on one of the medications I take, I know it lowered my B12 by a lot, but I think it might also be causing mag, like low magnesium levels for me. So I have to call my doctor on Monday and see if he wants me to get a blood test for that. Anyway, um, what else, what else? Which that's gonna suck because I'm gonna have to wait till after my vaccine to do that. I'm getting my second shot this week on Tuesday. So we'll see how that goes. I'm just gonna chill. I am gonna try it and also update my computer. My computer did not update last night after I stayed up late trying to update it. It claimed I didn't have enough storage, which I should have enough storage on the, my computer for it. I might have to Google how to figure that out. I ran into the same issue with my Apple Watch where I had to completely basically restore it in order to have it update. But by the way guys, if you have an Apple Watch, the new update where it unlocks your phone with a mask on is game changing. So game changing when I'm out. Oh my God, it's incredible. Such a great update. Uh, yeah, shout out to Krista because she reminded me there was an update. So I'm gonna try and update my laptop. I'm gonna chill out. I think I'm gonna just end today here and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the Portuguese Grand Prix. Speaking of which, Daniel Ricardo did a very bad job today and he was out in the first round of qualifying. He got P16. What? What? Dude, what is happening? He was supposed to do better at McLaren and it's not happening. And I'm really upset about it, but I'll see you tomorrow with my Daniel Ricardo shirt on. Okay, 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 okay. Who's leading, who's leading? Botas is leading. The Red Bulls are trying to get ahead. No, no kerfuffles. No, no, okay, let's see. Lando's, Lando's right behind the Red Bulls. Ooh, there's a Ferrari between the Red Bulls. I think that's, that's Carlos, yep. Yep, ooh, Carlos just got ahead of Sergio. Ooh, 
what Carlos is before. Oh, 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 someone locked, someone locked. Okay, nothing crazy yet, nothing crazy yet. Someone's on the gravel to now peeing. Oh my God, this race is 66 laps. This is gonna last a long time. This track looks nuts. It literally goes like up and down and all around. The drivers say half the time you like can't see what's happening because it's so hilly. Ooh, 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 wait, who's ahead? Oh, Ocon's P6? Shut up. How did that happen? Daniel Ricardo, you move your ass. Let's go. Let's go. You are in P15. You better get up there to P10 at least. Come on. Come on. Danny Rick. Danny Rick, my favorite driver. Let's see, let's see, let's see. This actually looks like it would be really fun to like if you had like a go-kart, this looks like this would be a very fun track to do a go-kart on because it's really that hilly. Yes, Danny, P14, let's go, 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 go. Oh, oh, someone crashed, someone crashed, someone crashed. Oh no, Kimi Raikkonen's front wing came off. Uh-oh, safety car, safety car. Maybe, is there gonna be, what happened? Did he like hit someone? He's not gonna be happy. You got Kimi Raikkonen's like scary. He is like scary, scary man. Not scary, scary man, but up oh, safety car, safety car. Bert Mylander is coming out with a safety car. This guy's so lucky. He gets to drive either a Mercedes or an Aston Martin in each race. How cool is that? Oh yeah, no, he hit. He hit Antonio Giovinazzi. Raikkonen hit Giovinazzi. It hit his wheel. His wheel. That could have been worse. Alrighty, and they're retiring Raikkonen, so that's one less car. But Kimmy just does this for fun. He's not even in it to win it anymore. He said, he said on Netflix, this is just a hobby for him. Just does it for funsies. And all the photographers are trying to get him now. Oh, I see, is that Kim? I see Kim Millman. I love Kim Millman. He is a great guy. So if you want to know more about F1, I'm going to link his channel below. He's incredible and he's so knowledgeable. He's an F1 photographer, very successful Australian businessman. Um, he's right now traveling to all the races. I think he said he's going to be away from Australia for like over three months at this point. He's expected to travel, but he's, he's really incredible. I'm going to go back to the race. Oh, come on, Danny Rick. Come on. Just like get ahead of Checo. Come on. He's like really far behind Checo though. Like, oh, 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 Ocon just passed Gasly. Oh, and Ocon's on hards. Interesting. That means he's probably not going to pit anymore. I, th I think, I don't know if any of these guys have pitted. Maybe I just haven't been watching. I've been playing The Sims too while this is going on. All right, let's see who wins. It's probably going to be the same three as usual. Hamilton, Botas, and Verstappen. No surprises there. Ugh. Guys, this is, that's the one thing I don't like about Formula One. It's, it, last year is the same three winners and I think it's gonna be the same thing this year. Unfortunately, also Hamilton says he's gonna stay in Formula One still, which is like, dude, you signed like a one year extension. Like that seat is supposed to go to George at some point. I don't know. I think Valtteri Bottas' contract might be up though, so he might be in jeopardy. Woo. Let's see. Oh, now Bottas and Hamilton are battling it out. I love Lando. He was trying to keep Hamilton off of him and he couldn't and he goes, he's too quick for me. He's too quick for me. It's really true. Hamilton. Hamilton's a quick dude. Quick dude. Greatest driver of all time. Pretty nuts. What I tell you, Lewis won. Put my glasses on my contacts were getting a little dry. Danerick finished in ninth, which is great. Lando Norris finished fifth. Wow, that was a comeback. Um, who else? Verstappen just got fastest lap, so he's second. Botas is third. Checo is fourth. Leclerc got sixth, not bad. Ferrari's having a comeback, guys. Yeah, the worst season of ever last season. Now they're doing great. Vettel and Stroll did very badly. They were both 13th and 14th. That sucks. Thank God Danny Rick moved up into the points. Thank God. But unfortunately, because he pitted, he lost the fifth spot, which sucked. But it's fine. It's fine. This is Lewis Hamilton's 
was this? His 97th win. He's probably gonna hit 100 wins this season for sure. I'm sure he will. Crazy. All right, I'm going to watch the end of this and then I'm gonna take a nap because I'm tired. I only got like, I didn't, I got like literally six hours of sleep, not even. It also is really hazy out now and it looks like it's gonna rain. So anyway, I was out, you know, for so long yesterday. Um, so I think I'm just kind of going to like slowly get into and just like do my errands and that'll be a good walk for me today. So kind of have a slow Sunday. I would like to point out that I look ridiculous right now. I had to Fashion Institute and I look like, I look like I'm a mom who's like going hiking or something. Like, do I look like I went to fashion school? No, I look ridiculous. Ridiculous. I'm comfy. Getting my walk on. Since my cold brew this morning didn't cut it, I got a real cold brew from La Cologne. And with almond milk and sponda and it is, it is just perfect. They have an oat milk black and tan now, which looks really good. But um, yeah, and I'm surprised they're open. Um, they're open like seven days a week. It's kind of shocking, because it's not a busy area, so. Anyway, Midtown is looking worse for wear, I hate to say it. So they opened that Hollister on 34th Street, which is hilarious. Um, and they're advertising Gilly Hicks. Do you guys remember when Gilly Hicks was like a separate thing from Abercrombie? And they had like actual stores. But does anyone else remember? Abercrombie had a brand called Room 925, I think it was called. And it was kind of like what Madewell was to J. Crew. It was like more expensive. Well, J. Maybe it was not necessarily more expensive than the J. Crew, but it was like a lot nicer. And they even had like leather goods and stuff. No, just me. <laughs> we live on Long Island. They only had one store and it was in Roosevelt Field. And then I remember Gilly Hicks, they had a store at the Smith Haven Mall. So I, I go to all the malls on Long Island, guys. All the malls. <laughs> walking home it is so beautiful out right now um, but my bag is very full I got a bunch of stuff my drag market order also delivered so we'll do a big unboxing once I get home guys look what I just found on my walk home law and order organized crime detective stabler is gonna be in the area oh my goodness this is 40th and Park Tuesday 6 a.m. to 11 if anyone's interested probably won't post this video by then but okay all right, friends, I'm back. This is gonna be the last part of the vlog. I'm gonna show you what I bought and then I need to rest. I'm very sweaty, so I'm keeping the hat on because I feel like I look a mess. So first, let me start off with what I got from Thrive Market. First thing I got is their brand of collagen. This is unflavored. I love to put collagen in my coffee. Um, I usually put it in hot coffee. It doesn't really work the best in cold coffee, but with my milk frother, it does froth a little bit better than it usually would if I were to just stir it up. So yeah, got this. Um, and these are individual packets. I also got some Simple Mills uh, grain-free um, almond flour cookies. These are really good to snack on. I got some grain-free pasta to try from jo Jovial. Um, this had really good reviews. People said this tasted just like regular pasta, so I'm going to try it. I don't really crave pasta anymore, but yeah. Oh my god, wait. It has no fat in it? Shut up. Oh, it's very high in carbs, though. But it has no fat and only two grams of sugar for a serving. That's really good. Um... What else? Oh, I have two nut pods, which I love. I got the vanilla ones. The vanilla is my favorite. And those are very low in points on WW, by the way, because there's hardly any sugar. There's really no, I don't think there's any sugar in them. Yeah, there's no sugar, there's no carbs. It is one gram of fat um, for a tablespoon. And it's the vanilla one is my favorite. I tried the hazelnut one first, but the vanilla one is like the best. I got two bags of the Fit Joy Green Free Pretzels. I wish these came in bigger bags. They're really small, but these are really good. And then I got two bags of the Unreal Dark Chocolate Caramel Nougats. These are like healthier Snickers bars and they're so freaking good. 
Oh, they're so good if you have a chocolate craving. Now let me show you what I got from Whole Foods. Okay, I, they didn't have these last time I went. This is my favorite trail mix, the Treasure Hunt. This is like a basic trail mix. It's got almonds, raisins, peanuts, um, and M&Ms, or their version of M&Ms in them. So good, so, such a great filling snack. They didn't, well, they had gluten-free bagels, but they moved them to the top shelf, so I couldn't reach them. So instead I got English muffins whole wheat, just as healthy. Well, probably healthier actually, not as starchy, I hope. I got some vanilla almond milk. I forgot that I ordered the nut pods, but do you see how small these are? These go very quickly, especially because I use a little more in my iced coffee versus hot coffee, so I have the vanilla almond milk as my backup. And then I bought some freezer bags because I can freeze the English muffins if they're about to go bad. And then I also got a little can of tomato sauce to try with the pasta. I did not get the cheese that I was hoping to get. My umbrella's in here. I brought my umbrella because it looked like it was gonna rain. Um, I did not get their version of Mexican cheese because it had more fat in it than the one at my local grocery store and they didn't have a low fat version. So I have to figure out what I'm gonna do. I might just have to get a mix of like Maybe I'll just get like cheddar. I don't know. I don't know what what to do. Um, yeah, I'm also debating if I should order takeout tonight. I might order Chipotle. But I might not. I don't know. I have a feeling I'm probably not. I think I'll just make my own, uh, my own food. I have some veggie burgers actually I need to use. So I think I'll make a veggie burger tonight. But yeah, um, that's it. That's my grocery haul. You're probably like, Jamie, you're one person, but I work from home, so I don't eat out as much. <laughs> yeah, that's how that works. I'm gonna put everything away, end the vlog, shower. Fit. I have a perk protein drink that I uh, started drinking before I went out that I'm gonna drink the rest of, and I think I'm also gonna snack on some uh, some trail mix. I also need to watch my window because there's bees out and a wasp almost tried to sting me earlier. I was not feeling it. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching weekend. This is Weekends with Jamie, a little weekend vlog. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you had a great weekend. See you next time. Shalom.